Welcome to Tech Topics. Today's Tech Topic is, how do I compare SPDs or surge protection devices? You know, if you go to Google and type in surge protection device or SPD, you're going to come across hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different brand names for surge protectors. The biggest question always is, how do I compare all these devices to know I'm getting the highest quality device? Well, there are quite a few different characteristics, quite a few different criteria, but let me help you identify three or four of the major criteria that you need to consider when comparing different surge protection devices. First of all is, in your facility, where is that device going to be installed? Is it going to be installed at the mains? Is it going to be installed at some distribution boards? Once you know that information, then you can begin to decide how much peak surge current do I need. And those start anywhere from 20 kiloamps, 20K per phase, uh, all the way up to 300 uh, kiloamps per phase. Really overkill in our opinion. But that's just one criteria. You want to look at the safety ratings, UL, CSA, uh, CE, so I know that information as well and that's readily available. Uh, then a lot of companies will recommend you compare that suppressed voltage rating from UL if it's here in North America. Okay, that's important, but it's really not the most important thing. Uh, look at warranty. Is the warranty one year, five year, 20 years? Is it cover only uh, materials and workmanship? Does it cover lightning? If you're in a high lightning prone area, make sure that warranty is going to cover a lightning strike in the event that it does get through and, and damage the device. But our recommendation is when you're looking at comparing the best surge protection, the number one transient environment or transient in America in the world today is that switching transient. If you're in an area where you're protecting highly sensitive electronics, where it's a, a process control, process automation, uh, industrial internet of things or industry 4.0 type equipment, you want to get a device that has very, very tight clamping on those ring wave events, on those uh, 100 kilohertz switching transients. If you look at our products, you'll find out that uh, you know, the typical 2000 volt 67 amp transient, we're clamping that down to about between 20 and 40 volts. We're eliminating, virtually eliminating those false zero crossings, which are going to cause you incredible headaches, lots of downtime in your facility. So when you're comparing surge protection devices, consider the warranty, consider the, the UL ratings, the suppressed voltage ratings. But the number one thing we want you to consider is, what is that information on that category A, that IEEE category A, uh, A1 rating, where you're looking at the most prevalent transient in industrial commercial uh, situations. You want the lowest number possible because you want that sine wave to be pure and smooth and the only way to do that is with our surge protection technology, frequency attenuating product, found on our website. Give us a call. Look us up online. We'd love to take care of you.